started. We're doing a compression test. The engine seal number is. Oh, gee, this is yeah, right. That's power. One four one five three six three. All right, so this would be considered cylinder four. Ready? Okay. What are you sitting out there for compression? One thirty-nine. Close enough. All right. On to the next one. This will just save me time when I'm in Toronto because it's already going to be like a four-hour drive to go to Toronto and back. Yeah, actually, it won't, it won't be that bad because I'm going to Vaughn Mills Mall. I think it's south of, if you've ever been to the Pacific Mall in that area. You ready? Uh, have you spoken with Daryl much? No. Uh, he, he messaged me For randomly months. not too long ago. Ready? Go ahead. All right. Okay. 139. Consistent. It's a lot more consistent than the previous numbers. Yeah, when I first tested this a while ago, it was like two, 229 to 230 or 219 to 232 or mid 30 to 230s, whatever. All right, now we're doing cylinder two. Ready? Give her. Okay. So we're doing eight cranks just to be consistent. Uh, typically six to eight is, is what's required. So on this one we have, you can't really see the gauge that well, I can now, uh, 142. And last cylinder, cylinder one, then we'll go out in the supercharged. I got a flash tune and I got a problem with the math sensor. So if I, on the second start, it'll give me about 4,000 RPM, then it'll kick it down to 3,000, go into limp. All right, cylinder one. Ready? One forty. Oh, thirty. That's right. One thirty. Dirt. This is the last one that also meant the last one was uh, high one thirty something. But you'll be able to see in the in the video. So that's the complete compression. Just to double check that that is the serial number. See if I can get some shadow going on here. There you go. There's the serial number of the engine we just tested. So that'll be the one that I bring up.